After a spinal cord injury, you need to pay special attention to your skin, probably a lot more than you ever did before. By building good habits, you can keep your skin healthy. The first part of your skincare program is doing a daily skin check. Check your skin for new marks or signs of redness on this on a daily basis, before you get out of bed in the morning and after you go to bed in the evening. If you need to, you can use a long-handled mirror or direct an attendant to check your skin. The first sign of a pressure sore is a red spot that may also be warm to the touch. In darker skin tones, the area may look blue or purple or gray. If you or your attendant find a mark, you can check it by pressing on it with a finger. If it doesn't change color quickly, you should try to identify the cause and then seek medical attention. If it does change color, continue to monitor the area. If it's not better after 24 hours, you should contact your skincare team. Your skincare program includes other important elements. Pressure relief. If you have a higher level injury, in particular, you'll need to pay a lot of attention to pressure relief by leaning from side to side, leaning forward, hooking your arm, pushing up, using tilt throughout the day. At first, you'll need to think a lot about doing this every few minutes. Over time, it should become a habit. You'll find more information on pressure relief in section three. Pressure relief is also important when you're in bed. If you're unable to turn yourself and if you don't have a proper mattress, you may need to get help so you can be turned regularly at least every two hours. Diet and water. Make sure you eat enough protein, especially if you have a wound that is healing, and drink one and a half to two liters of water every day. Moisture balance. Dry skin results from many causes, including thyroid problems, medication, and extreme weather. You may find it helpful to apply moisturizer to your skin on a regular basis. Wet skin is fragile. Make sure you dry yourself off thoroughly after showering, especially the nooks and crannies. Also, problems with bladder or bowel accidents can leave the skin wet and vulnerable to breakdown. Transfer techniques. Take care not to scrape or rub the skin on your rear end or your legs and feet when you transfer. Nail care. Keep your toenails trimmed. You may need to see a healthcare professional for help with this. Skin-friendly clothes and footwear. You'll find more information in section three on what you need to look for when you buy clothes and footwear. Equipment. Keep your cushions, wheelchairs, and other equipment in good repair. And watch out for anything that could catch, rub, or otherwise harm your skin. There are certain parts of the body that have a much greater risk of skin breakdown. These are areas where the bone is closer to the skin and where pressure can be created. For instance, the tailbone, located at the bottom of the spine. The sit bones, located roughly in the center of each buttock. The shoulder blades and elbows. The hips, the heels, and the ankles, inside and out. The tailbone and sit bones are exposed to pressure while you are sitting in your wheelchair or any other surface. The elbows can develop pressure sores from leaning on them to stabilize your upper body. The hips and ankles may be exposed to pressure when you lie in bed, especially on your side. The back of your head and shoulder blade can develop sores when you lie on your back for long periods of time. Other at-risk areas include the heels, which can develop sores from lying in bed or from shoes and hard surfaces like foot plates the toenails, which can become ingrown, around the knees, from lying in bed without a pillow between your legs, or from rubbing against the front part of your wheelchair, and the shoulders, from lying in bed, or from the push handles of your wheelchair.